Healthy eating is one of the most important things that you can do for your body. A healthy diet and lifestyle are your best weapons in the fight against heart disease. Now, while nearly 80% of cardiac events can be prevented, cardiovascular diseases continue to be a woman's greatest health threat. That's why our second pillar is women's health. Women continue to face inequities when it comes to access to and quality of healthcare. That's surprising. We also recognize that heart disease disproportionately impacts people of color and those without access to preventative health care and the poor. Now, I'd like to interest, introduce you to Jolene Lane. She's Chief Diversity Officer at the University of Akron, also American Heart Association Board Member for Akron and Portage Counties, and a member of our Women's Health Pillar. Jolene? Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to have the chance to speak with you today. Um, and thank you very much, Sheree. I'd like to introduce the other members of the Pillar team. Uh, my fabulous colleagues focused on Women's Health Pillar include the leader of the Women's Health Pillar, Sandy Reed, who's Vice President for Corporate Communications and Strategic Planning Administration for the Davy Tree Expert Company. Jody Wolf, a community advocate, Lori Schaefer, Vice President at North Akron Savings Bank, Dr. Zinab Lake, a specialist in cardiology at Cleveland Clinic, and Amanda Weish, co-vice president of Brennan, Mana, and Diamond. So why is the women's health pillar important? There are several reasons we have chosen this as our focus. Health, heart disease, and stroke cause one in three deaths among women each year. More than all cancers combined. Fortunately, we can change that because 80% of cardiac and stroke events may be prevented with education and action. The members of the pillar team agree that oftentimes women don't pay enough attention to their health because they're always nurturing others and sometimes ignoring the signs about their own health. Also, we want to influence younger generations of women and educate them about behavior change to value the importance of focusing on their, focusing on their own health. It's also important to note that only 39% of women receive bystander CPR in public compared to 49, excuse me, 45% of men. The American Heart Association's new CPR guidelines call for CPR training and address gender-related barriers to improve rates of bystander CPR performed on women. So what are we currently doing around women's health? The Go Red for Women campaign. In 2004, the American Heart Association faced a challenge. Cardiovascular disease claimed the lives of nearly 500,000 women each year, yet women were not paying attention. In fact, many even dismissed it as an older man's disease. To dispel the myths and raise awareness of heart disease and stroke as a number one killer of women, the American Heart Association created Go Red for Women, a passionate, emotional, social initiative designed to empower women to take charge of their heart health. The local campaign in Luncheon increases awareness and is a fundraising campaign in Akron and, and our Portage and Summit counties, excuse me. STEM Goes Red for Girls campaign. The STEM Goes Red is designed to provide young girls insights into the possibilities and potential they possess to make a real impact on the world around them. Our goals are to engage young women and, and mentors in STEM Goes Red, increase the number of women pursuing STEM degrees in higher education, close the gender gap in STEM jobs, arm students with tools and resources to experience good health and well-being. Additionally, we're pro we're provide we've provided infant CPR kits to the community that contain everything you need to learn the life-saving skills of infant CPR and infant choking relief in about 20 minutes in the comfort of your own home. The kits can also be used in hospital labor and delivery, delivery programs, including neonatal intensive care units to teach skills to new parents, allowing nursing staff to focus on patient care. Here are some ideas of how companies can get involved. We need your help to make some of the, these following ideas come to life. As we share ideas that our team came up with, we please feel free to share any, any ideas you have in the chat box. 
putting educational messaging on non-traditional media outlets where women frequent, engage younger generations, create podcasts focusing on, focusing on women's health to meet younger generations of women where they are, healthy at-home toolkits, which, which Chris, has, Chris has already explained, expanding partnerships with the schools to include teachers and students and also other service organizations and faith-based organizations. Increase education about adult and infant CPR. Traditional media campaigns to target women and children on platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Community conversations about these important topics. If this pillar resonates with you, please enter the words women's health in the chat box. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jolene.